not smile after that. John Sterling has been a busy man this season, coming up with new home run calls. A few minutes ago, Meredith Morakovitz caught up with the man who on Wednesday called his 5,000th career Yankees regular season and postseason game since jumping on board in 1989. I'm with a man who needs no introduction, but John, we're going to do it anyway. This is John Sterling, the radio voice of the New York Yankees. John, these 2019 Yankees are keeping you busy. You've come up with a lot of new home run calls. Has it been fun? Well, it's amazing. Oh, you know this year is fun <laughs> because um, you don't even recognize. Uh, most baseball people wouldn't even recognize, excuse me, <clears throat> half the Yankee lineup. And... Um, and the fact they're having so much success, I think all of us feel it's a lot of fun. Now, out of the new guys that you had to come up with a new home run call for, what's your favorite? Well, I think the last one that I did, um, uh, Gio Urshela, the most happy fella, um, I came up um, on the fly with, uh, the, first of all, I think it all is silly, but I, it's fun. But uh, I came up with... Uh, Talk man, the sock man, and um, for Mike Ford, uh, Mike is Ford tough. So, if if people enjoy them, get a kick out of them, I'm very happy. You mentioned that Urshela was on the fly, but how many of them are on the fly, and how many do you really think about beforehand? Well, years ago, um, Meredith, when this all began, you know, burn baby burn, I didn't think of anything because it wasn't supposed to be for every player. But it took off for whatever reason. It's become, as they say, a cottage industry. So now, if they get a player um, in the off season, I do think about it. Um, this year, though, with all these guys coming up, it's been so odd, so different, and I'm very lucky that I've been able to find something that's, you know, okay. I could not think of anything for DJ LeMahieu. Then I found out the DJ was David John. Excuse me. <clears throat> this is done early today, and I don't have my voice yet. Um, <clears throat> and I, anyway, I found out his name was David John. Well, he hit a home run, and I said, David John makes long gone. <laughs> so, you know, that's, um, that's about the best I could do. The really good ones, you know, A-bomb for A-rod and... <clears throat> and Robbie Cano, don't you know? They were all on the fly. It just happened as I opened my big mouth. Do you ever worry how they're going to be received? No. No, after all, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not feeding the world's hungry. It's not <laughs> curing a, a, a disease. You know, just a little fun play on words in, in, in the middle of the ball game. Pretty cool thing. The other day, you actually called your 5,000th game. Did not know. Can you believe that? Did not know. Is that just for the Yankees? The Yankees. That's... According to our producer, Eric Roldan. Well, that's phenomenal. It began in 89, and uh, but actually my streak really began in 1981. I did my first Hawks game in November of 81, and then the next year I added the Braves to the Hawks. Well, I was doing a lot of games. I was doing 220 games a year. But anyway, um, I should thank my genes and uh, that I've been able to be so healthy. I'm very lucky, obviously. Okay, one of our colleagues, <clears throat> excuse me, one of our colleagues, now, now you're giving it to me. Yeah. One of our colleagues, uh, John Flaherty, played for the Yankees, obviously. He never got a John Sterling home run call. Can you give the man a, a home run call? Well, it would be something to do with his nickname. His nickname is Flash. And so I guess I would say John hits one in a flash and <laughs> something like that. I like it. John, thank you so much for the time. My pleasure. You know, I love being on with you. Thank you. Send it back to you in the studio.